tough bucks is frazzling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for all the inner healing that you're doing, embracing your gift and seeing what is better, best yet to come. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up to me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life. and heading you toward the positive direction. Also... If you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some big, beautiful vibes that you would love to share with a family, friend, or a fellow empath, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support you're giving me towards the channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my videos. And today, my meditation music that I'm playing in the background is called Vibration of fifth dimension consciousness activate frequency 33 hertz theta and meditation music and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas connecting with other worldly things yes we are it's like the more we are embracing more we're embracing our um gifts you know a lot of us are like mediums clairvoyant you know um Claire Insiance, I, I think that's the name of it. You know, you, you're just being able to embrace your gift and we're all going on the next level of consciousness. Like I told y'all last week, you know, I get, um, the more I'm embracing, ooh, oops, sorry. The more I'm embracing my gift and the more I'm very open to it, you know, I, what I ask for, I, I get when it comes to, you know, the knowledge that they need to send me that I need to go ahead and post all about. Um, because there's so many of us are going through things and we're going through all these different changes and don't know what's going on, you know, and sometimes that can be very scary. So it's just like I've been having dreams and visions of me like talking to aliens is crazy. You know, I've had dreams before where I've had dreams that they were like. They look like E.T. type things or the ones from like Independence Day or whatever, but they weren't violent. They were just coming down just to know, you know, our world life. Like they've been here many years ago, but they're coming back. And it was like so many people feared them and they were able to talk. And I'm like, wow, I'm able to understand them. And I was talking back to them. And they were looking at me. There was people out there like, Rosalind, get away, get away. And I'm just like, they're not here to fight. They're not here to be, you know, destroying anything. They just want to know how we live. They just want to know how we're resourceful. And, you know, they want to know more about our planet and stuff like that. It was just, like, really crazy. So I don't know where that came from or whatever. But it was like I was watching, I think, Top 10 with, uh, uh, what's his name? Danny Burke. Uh, he's, uh, I guess he's from the UK or whatever. But he was talking about these certain things. And it looked just like one of the things that I, you know, he was talking about UFOs or whatever. And they showed this alien type thing. And I was just like, wow, it looked like something that I seen in my dreams a few nights ago. And it's just like really crazy about stuff like that. Or people have been dropping comments saying, Rosalyn, I'm seeing spirits. Or Rosalyn, I'm talking to them. You know, you, you have these different dreams that dead loved ones are coming back to speak to you and stuff like that. And it's just amazing with mine. It, it's like, um, I had dreams about Michael Jackson one time and he was talking to me and it was like, I told y'all about this a few weeks ago and it was like, he was coming back and he looked really sad. I'm like, MJ, what's wrong? And he was just like, I don't want people thinking that of me. And I'm just like thinking what? And I didn't know what he was talking about. Cause these were before all these these crazy accusations was coming out. He's like, I really don't want people thinking that of me because I'm not that type of person. And I was like, Mike, what are you talking about? You know, what are, what are you speaking of? And then he kept on telling me, you'll find out. And I'm just like, you know, and I just didn't think anything else about it. And he handed me this rose and then walked off and gave me a hug and walked off. And I'm like, okay. And like two weeks before that, I had a dream about Vanity. And my mom, uh, not my mom, but uh, Vanity was telling me about... Um, what was it? Take care of him. You know, he really truly needs that right now. I'm like, who is he? She's like, you'll find out. Take care of him. He really needs that. And I'm like, okay. And she gave me a hug and then we were 
singing and dancing on the stage or whatever. And then I got mad because I woke up, like one of my cats jumped on the bed. I'm like, really? You know, I wanted to see where this was going to. You know, I love Vanity. I haven't heard her music in a long time. And it was just like really different things that I would uh, dream about. And it would be just so amazing that I was able to connect with people like that. And it was like, for once, I'm actually connecting with people and it's not on a sad note. You know, Mike... MJ, you know, it was sad because then there are people out here, you know, putting these little fake things about him. I'm like, why are y'all talking about him like that? You know, he's dead. He can't be here to defend himself. And I said, y'all can't get any more money out this man. You know, he's gone. Why would you even do that anyway? And it's just sad when people go through things like that just to get money. But, you know, it, it's just like with us being on this different level and we're going to the next level of consciousness, you're embracing your gift for whatever your gift is. Uh, you will start hearing and seeing a lot more different things and connecting in so many different ways to where it's like, you know, you want to be able to tell people, you know, some people will be thinking you're crazy, but if you're on a level like us, it won't seem surprising. You'll be like, oh my God, really what happened? Tell me more, you know, or, oh, I wish this would happen to me as well. But, you know, it just depends, you know, if you're open towards your gift, you're embracing things a lot more. You know, the closer whatever we're getting close to, you know, it has us connecting in different ways that we probably weren't able to do before. Or you are becoming more in one with your gift and being able to embrace it. Um, it's just like, it was me, I love what I do. Being able to connect with the universe and source and stuff like that. And I'm just like, okay, you want me to talk about this? I'm like, okay. You know, I'm like, okay, is there people connecting to Archangel Michael or Archangel Raphael and Uriel and uh, Josephine and Joseph, Joseph something? I don't know who it was, but it was one that starts with a J. There's a lot of people just connecting with all these different angels. Some people have been having these angels within their whole life. You know, we've probably been able to see them our whole life. You know, when me being, when I was younger, you know, I used to tell my mom about it. I couldn't really talk about it around my adopted dad because he thought it was like a mental illness to where he thought, you know, hey, I don't want to talk, I don't want you talking about that stuff because, you know, that's not, stuff is not true. But my mom would be, you know, very intrigued about it. You know, she's like, okay, your dad's not around. Let me know, you know, what, is, what do you see and what did you hear and stuff like that. So I was able to be more open with my mom about the things that I saw. She thought it was very intriguing. So it's just like the more we get closer to whatever's coming, especially with the some, uh, spring, I think spring equinox and the super moon. And we got stuff that's going on, you know, later towards the month of March. Well, yeah, it, well, this between this week and next week, you know, we're going to have a lot of different shifts going on. It, I know mine started off yesterday, day before yesterday, so it's been getting really intense. So you might be feeling a lot of different things, you know, along with that, you'll be having these flu-like symptoms, body aches. I've been having these. I'm feeling really stiff, and I don't know if it's just because I'm exercising more or whatever, because I know I try to walk every day but it's just like when it's raining I haven't been able to do that but it's just like I've been drained a lot lately I don't know because it was like the other day I did like nine eight videos and I'm trying to push out nine today so um you know whatever I'm able to push out I go ahead and push out and then I go ahead and try to exercise and you know be out in nature just so I can be able to clear my head and get out of the cabin fever because I hate being in the house nowadays it's like before I used to love it but you know I'm just trying to get my body right and everything like that because it's about to be warm so you know I want to be physically fit and feel better about myself even though I feel good now but I would like to feel better there's always room for improvement so, you know, if you're going through all these things, no, you're not going crazy. You're not by yourself. There's more people that are connecting with different worldly things. Um, you're probably connecting more with, uh, you know, things from the future that you probably see yourself doing as well. Because it's like Source is trying to let you know, hey, these are the things that you've been manifesting. And these are the things that's going to be happening for you. So be able to keep up with the signs. You know, write things down if you need to. Um, keep a journal. I try to keep my journal as well. Um, and write down the things that are really important to me or really feel like they stick out. So you should do the same. So if, let me know if you, you know, you uh, resonate with the content of this video. Drop me a line and let me know your insight. You know, have you been connecting with other worldly things? Have you been seeing things that you normally don't see? I've been getting high pitch ringing in my ears as well. So, you know, that uh, that has to do with your twin flame as well. So I've been getting a lot of connections with that, and especially... 
with Source 2 because it can be really high pitch, like, you know, sonar and stuff like that. So I've been getting those as well. So I'm um, sending a post notification out to One Love. Uh, let me see who else. Maurice Lee, uh, A. Maurice Lee, Anne Maurice Lee, Zoo Scott, um, Diamond King, and Stacy Flowey. Flowey, much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I hope y'all have a blessed, prosperous week, and I'll be praying for y'all and hoping everything goes good for you. And know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. So like and subscribe, drop me a line, press the notification bell, share, 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 and I will see you on my next video. Love you. See ya.